Good morning quadcopter 101 here and what I got for you today is a new, neat little quadcopter from a brand new company that I haven't reviewed before. It's from SJRC. This is the X300 1C. Now if you look at this quadcopter you can see that yes it appears to be another clone of the CMAX 5C. But I did an initial flight of this thing last night and it's one of the most gentle flyers I've seen to date. Uh, it has a beginner's mode that when you set it to mode one, <laughs> it barely moves at all. I mean, I can't see, a, a three-year-old could fly this thing <laughs> in beginner's mode without crashing into things. It is so slow in that movement. But of course, that's not going to be very useful outdoors flying like that. It's great for flying indoors, very gentle fly, indoor flyer. But outdoors, I wanna see how it performs out here in the open. I'm gonna go to higher rates than it's mode one. It has three or four different mode rates. It has that beginner's rate. Uh, and then here, let me turn this on. I want to show you this. Let me go into the shade too so you can see this. But it has a very colorful, oh, you can't see it here in the, <laughs> in the sunlight, but a very colorful um, controller with m many lights. And this is this shows the different rates. You know, let's, let's pretend it's bound. Um, you can select the, the very lowest rate by pressing that button there, uh, begin, or intermediate rate. Intermediate expert and super expert by pressing up like that. But again, at this lowest rate, it is a very, very docile flyer. Um, perfect for flying indoors and for learning how to fly. But I, again, I got too much of a breeze today, so I'm going to probably have to use one of the others. Um, let's go over, over other things on this quadcopter. Um, it is a camera bird. It comes with a two megapixel camera, as you can see here. Um, unfortunately, it appears that the angle of that camera is about 45 degrees downward. So you're going to get a lot of ground effect with this. This would be great for taking pictures of, the, of your house, uh, your local backyard, and yourself while you're flying it. But for getting uh, aerial video of the horizon, uh, you're not going to get it with this particular camera. And that camera angle is fixed and cannot be changed. Other things it comes with, again, a 2 megapixel camera. Um, it has an on-off switch. That works very well. I like that on a quadcopter. But something most important of all is the lights on this thing are very, very pretty, especially if you get the white model. I think it only comes in white. But if it comes in other colors, I still recommend that you get the white model. These lights are so bright, this is going to be an uh, excellent outdoor uh, night flyer. I'm going to try that out tonight and try to include the demonstration of its night flying ability tonight with this quadcopter. Um, other things, let's go over this controller. This controller is very confusing. I still have it on. Make sure it's off now. But uh, the way this controller works is this up and down selects your different uh, modes, your different rates, you know, beginner, intermediate, expert, uh, super expert. Um, and this controls right and left yaw trim. Uh, these are just plain old trim buttons for uh, pitch and roll. Now, these are the two buttons that lets you select between camera rate or one key return. Um, if you press it quickly, it does a one key return. It has this little camera button here. But if you hold it down for three seconds, it enters a camera mode, which allows you to use video or uh, pictures. And that is controlled by these buttons here. If you press, if you're in camera mode, this will change to camera. And at that point, this light, which you know, again will change from roll to camera, and these buttons here become this becomes you're activating your video, and this button here becomes activating your uh, uh, photos. Um, if you press that and hold it again for three seconds, it goes back into regular flying mode, and this button becomes a flip button for a back flip, and oh no, this would be a uh, right flip, and this would be a left flip. Um, this button, these two buttons up here are forward and backward flips always. And this button here, if you press it quickly, it, the quadcopter enters headless mode. But if you hold it down for three seconds, it does a calibration. Now, the, the menu doesn't say, the instructions don't say what kind of a calibration, whether it's a gyro calibration or if it's uh, setting the headless mode bearing. We're going to find that out today. I'm going to attempt to fly without pressing that button first off and see if the headless mode is set as the initial setting that the quadcopter was pointed at uh, takeoff. Um, if it's not, then I'm going to recalibrate by uh, landing the quadcopter and holding that button down for three seconds. So, let's go for a flight of the SJRC X300 1C and see how it performs. Um, right now, the wind seems to have died down, so I'm going to actually try that uh, beginner's mode. We're going to start off with beginner's mode and binding it to the quadcopter. 
and going down to beginner's rate, the lowest possible rate this good thing can fly. Now this is full right pitch, this is full left pitch, this is full forward, full back, full right. So see how easy this thing is to fly for a beginner. With the exception of the throttle, you gotta be gentle with the throttle. Now those lights blink always on this thing, but the front lights, if you look on it, there's full yaw at beginner's rate. The front lights are steady. So this is very, very gentle. Very, this is the most gentle flyer I've seen to date. With this, look at that yaw rate. In the, this is full forward pitch and full left turn. <laughs> Okay, let's take that up a bit. Oh, one thing I want to demonstrate before we do. Let's bring it back in again. Again, the most stable flyer I've seen to date for a beginner to fly. Let's see what happens if we lose transmission from this quad comfort because I want to do a range test of this today too. So let's give it a little throttle and turn off the transmitter. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three, Watch out, see how that thing just gradually slows down. Okay, turning off the quadcopter again. Now I wanna, we can do a range test, and at the same time I am going to turn the camera on and see if we can reach the other end of the field, get 100 meters. Let me go down here to this edge of the field. Okay, turning on the quadcopter. Pointing it down the field. Turning on the transmitter, binding it to the quadcopter. Now we're going to turn on the camera. To do that, I got to hold this down for three seconds. And I am going to activate the video by pressing this button here. And right now it should be recording. I am looking for a light. I can't see a light in there. I don't know if it's recording or not. We're going to assume it is recording because it's beeping. Let's go for a flight downfield and see if it makes it. Okay, I am in the default mode. This is the default rate. And it seems to only fly out to about... Oh, that's cool. <laughs> it flies out to about uh, 80 meters, and then it does a one-key return. <laughs> so it flies backwards, in effect, when it reaches the edge of its range. Let's try that again. Before I do that, let me do a turn around and see if, see if I can videotape myself while it's flying. Hello there. I hope you're recording. <laughs> Let's try that again. We're going to fly down to the edges of the field and, and see what happens. I'm going down the field. See how far it goes. Okay, it reached the edge of its flight capability and then it flies backwards. Okay, I'm back in range again. So it does a one key return when it um, reaches the edge of the uh, of its uh, range. Okay, let's let's turn that off for a second now. Let's turn that camera off. That's demonstration of its video. Video coming off. And holding that button down to go back to regular flight mode. Now, let's go out in the sunlight and try flips. Uh, backward flip. Right flip. Oh, is this a flipper? Look at this thing. This is a great quadcopter. <laughs> Let's try that one key return. Going down the field. Applying you off so I don't know which direction it's pointed. Pressing one key return. or It's not doing anything. So I haven't initialized the headless mode bearing. Let's try headless mode. Okay, it knows that's the headless mode bearing. Headless mode's working, but the one key return did not seem to work. Unless I flew out of range. Come on. Uh, maybe I need to be in headless mode for the one key return to work. Let's try that. Pressing one key return. Yes, you have to be in headless mode for the one key return to work. Okay, let's try that again. We'll go up range one more time. I am in headless mode. I'm, I'm applying some yaw and pressing the one key return real quickly. And it does a very nice one key return. But again, you have to be in headless mode for that to work. So that's pretty damn cool. Okay, coming out of headless mode. I want to try 
higher rates. Let's go to Super Expert. Okay, I am on four. Let's see what its funnels are like. This is the highest rate it got. Okay, that's it. Oh, it's very, very nimble. But this is the full yaw at expert rate. Gonna do flips. Oh, it's getting low on juice right now. It's no more flips. But there's its funnels at this rate. So all in all, this is a really cool flyer. How about right funnels? Great quadcopter, SJRC. You really got something here. Let's go up the field again and see if it actually flies back again when I run, go out of range. Okay, I'm out at 120 meters. <laughs> I went all the way to the edge of the field, easily made it. Fast quad. This is a great quad. Unfortunately, I don't have more, any juice to do any more flips, but I'm going to fly this thing until it loses its juice. This is a surprise quadcopter on the market. It's great flyer. Camera. Headless mode that works. One key return that works. I like how it flew backwards would have reached the edge of its range. Remember, try to fly down the headless mode bearing. It appears that the headless mode bearing again is set at takeoff at the direction it was pointed when you bind it to the quadcopter. So that uh, gyro calibration or that calibration button is probably for gyros. You know, if you if it does screwy things and the, you know after a crash you can reset the gyros by pressing this button down and holding it for a few seconds. Great quadcopter. Let's turn on its camera one more time. Go to camera mode. And press in video. Okay, let's get a video of the area. Showing its camera. Uh, okay. <laughs> that, that used up the juice. Okay, coming out of camera mode. <laughs> there ain't no more power. And turning off the transmitter and turning off the quadcopter. That bounced the, the camera door open. So that's what happens when you fly it until the, the battery dies. So all in all, it's a well-built little quadcopter, by the way. I forgot to mention that. It feels well-built. Great flyer. Very good flyer. I enjoyed flying this thing. I hope the camera's uh, just as well. Headless mode works. One key return works. Uh, again, when you fly out of range, it appears to fly back down the headless mode bearing. So if you're going to fly distant, you're probably going to want to uh, fly um, in the direction it was pointed when you uh, bound it to the transmitter. That way, that when it does enter automatic one key return, it'll head back toward you. If you're going to fly distant uh, in another direction, I'm not sure what that's going to happen, especially if it's behind you. It may, may result in flying further away, so be careful there when flying distant. So, again, this is the SJRC X300 1C. Very nice flyer, very nice quadcopter. I like it. I give it a thumbs up. Quadcopter 101, signing out. Night flying with the SJRC X300 1C. Hope you enjoy the flight. Very stable flyer, very stable flyer. Lots of power to it too. I really like this quad. Oh, there's lights. Very bright. This is one great night flyer.
cool quadcopter. <laughs> what a higher rate. Okay, gotta come in. Maybe I was at the edge of its range there. Gives you a warning. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, let's bring it in for a thumbnail and try a different quad after this. I'm going to beginner rate. Okay, that's enough of that one. Next 300 ones.